live yes, with Miss Janice. Yes, we and, are. And something new, right? So you got some new stuff going on that you announced over the past couple of weeks. So what are you doing? Your new Facebook group. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So like I'm busy. I'm so, so busy. Like I can't even keep up with myself. Um, yes, I have a new Facebook group. It's called Focus Your Promotion. And I launched my uh, newly branded, it's rebranded uh, marketing agency, Clarity Based Marketing. And I'm super excited and I'm bringing on new team members and new clients and doing training and videos. And I can barely speak in complete sentences. I love it. <laughs> And for those of you guys who don't know me, I'm Dr. John, nurse practitioner with Island Frank Primary Care. And you know what I really loved about your recent announcement and you shared with me was the you know clarity-based marketing. Um, clarity is so so important. You know, people tend. I'm one of them. Um, I love to talk, and so being succinct is very difficult for me sometimes. And and that's why I like my little island time sessions that I'm doing on Mondays or sometime Monday, it's island time. And uh, because it's succinct, it's a video less than two minutes, about a minute and a half. Um, but I've really been working on clarifying our message um, and what island direct primary care is for members of the community. Not necessarily defining direct primary care. I've got to the point after two years where I'm not too sure people really care what it is. Um, what yeah. they really care about is that um, someone's listening to them especially yeah. when it comes to their health care. And so I, too, agree that everybody deserves to be heard. And um, and so we're just trying to create a platform in where, you know, we work for you, you know, you, the patient, the community members, the patient, and, and kind of going from there. So I'm really glad that you're going to be helping members of our community and how to clarify their message, because that's extremely important as, um, you, you know, especially given the current uh, economic climate that we're in and who knows where small businesses are going to be right there's so many challenges so people need to know exactly what you're going to do how you do it when you do it and how much it costs so that they can go to that source and, and you know acquire that product or, or whatever your product is they don't have time to search and look because time is important to them and you know i'll tell you something else i posted this in the focus your promotion group this morning and it was it was really great. I love it. I get excited about the silliest little things. But so it was a, a meme. It was a quote that said, focus on the good and the good will get better. And, you know, that's one of those like frou frou, you know, feel good, which I, I like those. I, sure. I spend a lot of time on, you know, doing what makes me happy and and the happier you are, the happier you get and all of that. I really believe in that concept and it, it applies to focus. And that applies in your personal life, but it applies in your business life too. So what you focus on is, is what grows, you know, so if you hone your focus in, that's kind of what we're talking about today. And I'm talking real fast because we're only going to spend a few minutes because I have a bajillion things to do and you have a bajillion things to do. Um, if you're watching this uh, live, then kudos to you because we're not going to be live very long but I am gonna post some links in the comments um, when we get done so you can follow up on some of the stuff we're talking about. So my assistant asked if um, my assistant, my right-hand person, like the wind beneath my wings, assistant does not do her justice. Um, Director of awesomeness is her new title. Fits very well. She asked if we would do a little piece on Let's see if I remember it. cold, flu, or COVID, and I added or stress <coughs> because like stress makes me feel terrible. Yeah. And so for stress, I have it really easy. So um, we have a wonderful team. We have Nola and Maddie here at Island Direct Primary Care, and um, Nola made a good point. You know, we're coming into the holiday season and stress and the pandemic and just so many things going on and it's already stressful time of year anyways outside yeah. of the pandemic um so we're actually doing a five-week series um in our new newly announced island time um on mondays don't ask me what time it's going to happen because it's on island time it's when we get to it right you know so we're yeah. chilling um and we're given by every week we're given a specific tip that's easy, cost-effective for stress reduction. So we've talked about breathing. We've talked about prayer meditation. This week we talked about uh, hydration and water. And so that's on the Island Direct Primary Care 
Facebook page or at Island DPC on Instagram. So they can get those kind of things there. Uh, but yes, I'm going to um, repost those links. Oh, Ooh, that awesome. just fed back at me badly. Um, <laughs> we got to do something about that feedback. Um, I'm going to post those links and I've watched all three of them, by the way. So, kudos well, to I, I look forward to your critique. Uh, well, and I'm good at that. I'm good at that. I know. Constructive criticism. Focus. I'm just helping accept- you find your focus. That's yeah, all. have to be good at accepting it, right? Uh, right. So co- common illnesses are still common. So cold, influenza, and or SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19, right? Yes. And so with the recent travel, uh, influx of travel and the holiday, everyone's out there and, you know, the media says that, um, you know, we're going to have a big uptick in in the uh, spike in COVID-19 positive cases. Um, let's talk about the similarities. Keep All it, three keep of them. Keep it simple. Keep it yep. simple, Doc. All three of them have cough. Yes. Um, All three of them can have runny nose. Yes. All three of them can have sore throat. Yes. Okay. Um, All three of them can have congestion. Okay. All three of them can have headaches. Okay. Two of them will have fever. So that would be COVID and influenza. Flu, okay. All right, I'm with you so far. Colds typically won't have, um, you know, have a fever. Okay. And um, the influenza is sudden onset. Yes, I've done, I've only had the flu really one time in my life. And I literally went from one minute I was fine to the next minute I had to call somebody to come drive me home, literally. Sure. So I feel you. So, 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 so you're talking about like sudden boom, onset, boom. feel like a train, train hit you. That's like right? a flu. Okay, okay, That's a flu. all right. Um, all right and I'm then with you. gradual worsening, right? Just gradually okay. feeling getting worse as time goes on. I'm feeling bad. I'm feeling bad. I'm oh man. I'm just I'm really feeling bad. I got a fever. You know, maybe then you'll have this shortness of breath and those kind of things. Um, and, and that's what you'll get on, on the COVID front. And so then you have to kind of trace where you've been over the past week, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, anybody yeah. that you know of been exposed or were you out in the community um, and, and not taking some of the precautions um, that, that you should have just kind of got a little lackadaisical because of our what we can talk about another time is my COVID fatigue. You have 90 seconds, 90 seconds and we're done. How to improve your chances of surviving all three of these. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. So what's the one kicker? What's the one thing that would make you go, I better go get tested, this might be COVID. I need, that's the punchline. Yeah. Give me the punchline. You shouldn't just go, I need to go get tested for COVID. And if any practitioner is not going, do you have a cold? Do you have influenza first before Uh they ask and do COVID? Then Mm -hmm. they're wrong. Common illnesses are still common. So I think that um, we're testing way too much. And we're spending a lot of money testing a lot of negative people. Not that people aren't positive. Not that asymptomatic. My son was asymptomatic and positive. I get it. Um, that's kind of a fluke. He was exposed. We tested him, and that's the only reason why he was tested. So, um, so if you're what, exposed and you start having, if you some have symptoms, exposure. Yeah. To, mm-hmm. If you have known exposure, okay, and the symptoms that I just mentioned, okay, which would be the shortness of breath, the cough, um, sore throat, fever, those things, then that may warrant a COVID-19 test. The loss of taste but and smell. If you come to me, so loss of taste or smell are days seven to nine. So okay. influenza lasts five to seven days. So if you treat it, it lasts five or six. If you don't treat it with you know Tamiflu, then it lasts for six or seven. So if you've been sick for eight days, then it's probably not influenza. Gotcha. The treatment's the same unless you're going to take Tamiflu or gotcha. you're hospitalized. All right. So the last thing, we got like 30 seconds and then that's it. We're, we're checking out. Of Longest here. 90 seconds of my life. I, I know. See, see, calm it down. <laughs> All right. 30 seconds. So 
when can stress fake like the flu or COVID or something make you feel like you're sick when you're not really sick sick? Can it? Oh, can it? Goodness. So just can it? Yeah, it can. Yes, it yeah. can. And so stress causes a excess cortisol, which is fight or flight response. Okay. Okay, which then affects your immune system. And so basically you have this big high, think of a sugar yeah. high, and then you have this big crash, think of a sugar crash. So you have this big spike in cortisol, yeah. and then all of a sudden you crash down and then you're weakened, your immunity system is weakened. And then that's when viruses have the opportunity to attack you. I did not know that. And as you well know, you know, I think I know everything. I think I'm a doctor and all that kind of stuff, but I really don't. I mean, I know a lot of stuff, but I don't know everything. And I did not know that. And I think I knew, I thought I knew a lot about stress and like how it affects you. I know it makes me feel yucky. If I allow myself to get too stressed, I will feel sickly. And, so it's interesting. Um, so if you, I didn't said, know that about cortisol. That, that's why, so this week we talked about water and hydration, where we talk yes. about flushing out the cortisol, flushing out the toxins, which will help you reduce stress. Yeah. All right. I'm going to post those links in, um, in the description. I'm going to have to go back and modify the description, but I will do that. And so everybody has access to them because it's a great subject, especially this time of year. We're all stressed anyway during the holidays. And now we got all the COVID stuff on top of it. I think. I think it's safe to assume that everybody that we run into right now is stressed. I'm not stressed. Oh, come on. Come on. You got to be a little bit stressed about you know, something. It's, it's really, I'm very much at peace yeah. in my world and where I'm at today and what's going on. I mean, sure, it's a season that's very challenging, um, but it's yeah. not the first time we've done this. And I think that um, panic is the last thing that we need. We have extremely gifted scientists out there. Um, unfortunately, we have extremely gifted influencers out there. And, yeah. and so, you know, scientists aren't often aren't very good at communicating. Yeah. And so the influencers are. And so we have a lot of um, information overload and misinformation in our community. And that makes it stressful for people. But for me, I've been seeing people like normal and you know that, so. I know. Say bye to everybody. Bye, everybody. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Hey, next week we'll talk some more about this because everybody needs to know, you know, how to identify the differences. Okay, bye. I'm, I'm stopping now. Okay, bye.